Okay, so we have to find the gradient of the tangent to the parabola x squared equals 8y at the point 42. Now it's in the format of x squared equals 4ay. We have to find the derivative of it to find the uh, gradient of the tangent because it's asking us to find the gradient of the tangent, which is very nice of it. So what do we do first? We know that we want to find a gradient, uh, a derivative, right? So how do we find the derivative of something? Sorry? Yeah. That's what we're going to do, yeah. But at the moment, when we've done derivatives, isn't that sort of one of the forms of notation we use? Y and then Y dash? At the moment, our equation doesn't look like that, does it? So what do you reckon we should do first? Yeah, make the y on, get the y on its own. So how are we going to do that? Divide by 8. All right, so now all of a sudden we've got y equals x squared over 8. That's nicer because we know what we're doing now. So how do we derive? No, you don't have to make it a negative indice. You could, if you wanted, rewrite that as 1 over 8 times x squared if you're more comfortable with it looking like that. Nope. Don't need to make it a third. How do we derive? If I've got y equals ax squared, what's y dash? 2a a x because I do the 2 minus 1 right okay because you got if we did if I got rid of the 2 and just made it an n I'd have n a x to the n minus 1 remember that standard deriving okay so what have I got to do Okay, 2x over 8. That works for me. Can I do anything else? x over 4. Just simplify the fraction. You happy with that? Okay. So that gives me the gradient. But the question's asking for the gradient at that point. So we now have the gradient at any point. That's the equation of the gradient of the tangent. Now we want to do it at that point. So at 4, 2... Substitute in the 4, because I've only got an x value to sub in. We've just got to remember not to overcomplicate these things. They're relatively straightforward once you remember how to do them. Is everyone happy with that? I think you've all got to get back into the mode of deriving things.